Flower selection for this bouquet today is Dendrobium orchid and Stephanotis, both of which are plants that I just picked up at the garden centre. In addition to that, I'm using Estrancia, Scabious and Limonium. And then foliage wise, I have picked Asparagus fern and Coral fern. Okay, so when we're going to start the construction of the bouquet, we need to consider the, the proportions, the length and the width of the bouquet and the placement of our binding wire and tie in point, which is where the bouquet, the, the finished design is going to be held. So once our time point is established, we, um, we're going to keep that in the same place throughout the whole construction. So we're going to start building up our, our bouquet, so uh, graduating back from the length. Bending those wires back beyond the tying point. Now I want to make sure that this, this is going to create your handle and I want to make sure that this remains parallel to the body at all times with all your flower materials trailing forward. Okay, once we've established the position of the handle, we've got our materials that are trailing forward. We also need to think about the reverse end of the bouquet and, and what's happening at the back and, and finishing it so that everything is looking beautiful all the way around. We've established our perimeter shape for the bouquet and the next job to do is to establish the maximum height and placement of the focal flowers, so they are the most important flowers. Using a mirror um, and standing in front of it, you want to place your uh, focal materials um, without bending them actually, just keep it in line with the, with the bouquet handle and adjust the height accordingly to whatever suits. So the finishing touches for the bouquet is to create a beautiful bound handle and using a, a satin ribbon and I've, I've also included some ribbon bows at the back so that the bouquet looks beautiful from all angles.